Hi friends, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another home goods shop with me and haul where I show you some of my favorite things to look for while shopping at home goods, do a little haul of the things that I picked up, and then give you some ideas on how I plan to style those in my own home. One of the reasons home goods is so much fun is their ever changing inventory and the fact that they have very limited amounts of quantity of each item. So it makes the items that you pick out for your home feel very curated and specific to you they're not being mass produced so you won't see them all over Instagram which personally I really like you can find high-end designer dupes as well as pieces that have that vintage look for just a fraction of the price do not skip the lighting section. You can find some high-end dupes over here for a steal, like this one, which looks almost identical to the Birch Lane lamp that's listed for $515. They also had smaller options, which are more in my budget for only $30. That would be a great size for a nightstand. I'm remodeling my bathroom, so I've been checking home goods a lot recently for mirrors. I love the shape of this gold one for only 50 bucks and the wood detail on this mirror is really unique. And I just cannot resist the cutting board section. You can't beat their selection and prices. These can obviously be used as cutting boards, but also as serving trays and decor around your kitchen. Another Birch Lane dupe is this striped Parsons chair. You can swap out the two end chairs of your dining room table with these and create an entire new look. We're gonna start off with a deal on top of an already amazing deal. So I found this set of three gold candlesticks, obviously not real gold, but I love all the texture on them as well. And they were already very affordable at $19.99, but they were on clearance for $15. And these are just such a timeless, piece that you can use in so many different areas of your home. I love keeping candlesticks like this on hand. I have a lot of vintage ones and they're really fun if you get them all in the same color, but they look a little bit different to incorporate on a pretty mantle or a dining room table. These are just so much fun. You can use them for every single season and for $15, that is an amazing price. My home goods had multiple packs of these sitting on the clearance rack and I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking up two of them. I'm sure that by now most of us have heard of that anthropology mirror, that really tall gold ornate mirror that people are finding dupes for all over the place. The mirror itself is very large, so unless you have just the perfect spot for it in your home, it's just not going to work in every space, such as my home. I love it. I've seen dupes before, but I just don't have a place for it, but I do love the look. So I found the most adorable little lookalikes that are picture frames. This one is, what was it? $6.99. And this looked the most like the anthropology mirror as far as the shape goes. It's a little different along the sides. And they also had this one, also $6.99. I just thought these were absolutely adorable. Gold frames are so in right now. So I thought these would look really pretty on a desk or on a shelf in my office and if you watched my spring DIY decorating video I found these faux pressed flowers at Hobby Lobby and I had a bunch left over that didn't fit in my frame so I plan on incorporating them into these frames just for an added touch of spring obviously you could add a beautiful piece of artwork or I even love going down the scrapbook paper aisle in Hobby Lobby and finding something that goes with the colors in my room or really captures the season or just the overall vibe that I have going on in that space. The next thing I found is this stunning lamp. This reminds me of definitely something you would find at an antique shop. I've been seeing a lot of crystal pendants and lightings in cottage style homes, most of which are very expensive. So when I saw this lamp, I thought it was a great way to really get that look for less. This is only $24.99. And I thought it was really cool that on the side here, there's room for a USB so you can charge your phone. This would look so great on a nightstand if you have that cottage style. I think this etched glass looks beautiful with this golden brass color. 
And this little detail here just makes this look absolutely stunning. I'm pretty sure this is going on my nightstand, but you could also put this in your living room on a cute little um, end table. I think that would look really cute. But either way, I was not in the market for a new lamp, but sometimes you just see something and you just know it's coming home with you. My next find is the most unique and adorable looking wooden spoon. This thing was only $3.99. Look at that really cute little handle and the scoop. The whole thing looks like it was hand carved to me. I plan on using this in my kitchen. You can just put it on a stack of cookbooks if you want. You can put it on a shelf anywhere that is going to add just a little bit of visual interest to your space. You could also put it inside a canister and use it as an actual scoop, but I just thought this was so cute. I did not want to pass it up. I was looking to see if it had like a specific name or purpose aside from cute scoop, but <laughs> I don't see anything. So there's a lot of possibilities with this, but I just really love finding unique and different pieces. Okay, so I just had to stop filming for a second. I'm sitting in my office in front of my window and the FedEx guy walked up and we totally made eye contact. It's me sitting in front of a window talking to a camera. Super awkward. But anyway, moving on. Speaking of wooden spoons, I found this set. I love finding ones that are very rustic, just like the one I showed you. So when I saw this set, I almost could not resist it. They had it in a couple different shades, but I really love this dark, deep wood color. These were $14.99, and I just thought they had some really unique shapes. Oh, and on the back it says, we have a skinny spurtle, a small spurtle, a slotted spurtle, and a solid spurtle. <laughs> I like to display these in a cute little crock or pitcher right next to my stove. Again, adding woods to a white space is going to add instant character and also just adding anything that has a vintage vibe to a space that's builder grade or new is also going to add a ton of character. Another thing I always check for when I'm at home goods are interesting vases. And this one, I just loved the shape of. It's kind of like a brassy, distressed brass color. It was $16.99, and I don't really have too many vases that are this shape, and definitely none that are this dark, kind of rich, brassy color. This would be a perfect piece just by itself for shelf styling, or if you want to pop in some greenery, it would be perfect to incorporate in a little grouping. Vases have become one of my favorite things to collect recently, just because they are so versatile and can be used in so many different ways and spaces. This next piece I thought was really cool and it is certainly unique. So it looks like a wooden bowl on with just three legs, but it is actually a candle. Let me take the top off. It's by Live in Sky and it is a hand poured candle with five wicks. This piece was $29.99 and I thought it was a pretty good price for a candle of this size. And you can use this bowl after the candle's all used up. You can reuse it to hold different pieces of decor. You can use it as a little planter. You can use it to drape some of those decorative beads from. There's just a lot of different uses. And like I say all of the time, I love finding pieces that have dual purposes. So for a while, it'll be a five wick candle and then who knows what else it could be after that. When I saw that, I thought it would make the perfect coffee table piece. Now, if you've been here a while, you may know that I do not currently have a coffee table in my living room. That is because I have a daughter who just turned two and they just always make me really nervous with little ones. I had an accident as a kid on a coffee table, so I just like to not have one while my kids were small, but I think she's getting to the age where it's safe to bring one back in so stay tuned for a little living room refresh coming to my channel soon but that piece is definitely going to be one that I style on top of a coffee table I think it looks really high-end ties in that vintage feel and it's also just a really fun thing to light when you're watching a movie or to have guests over I think that is a really really fun piece Next up is this adorable little dough bowl. I do not have one that is this small, but I do have quite 
quite a collection of these and I find that they come in handy for so many different things. So this one was $12.99 and what I plan on doing with this is putting it in my little powder room with some folded hand towels. I want to redo my bathroom as well so I've been picking up little pieces that inspire me along the way that I can add in for the little details of decor. It will be a big project but for me the things that really inspire me are the small details such as this. These are another thing though that look really great on shelves. You can use them in an entryway to hold keys. You can put them next to a sink for jewelry when you're washing your face and things like that. So if you ask me you can never go wrong with a little collection of dough bowls like these. While we're on the subject of my bathroom I also found this wooden tray that I'm putting in there as well. I thought this one was really unique. I liked where the handle are placed. I've never seen a tray quite like that but it gave me that high-end feel and this one was only $14.99. I thought this would be the perfect size to put some hand soap and then a candle or a little room spray. Little touches like this give your bathroom such a high-end feel. I also grabbed this soap at Home Goods. This one was $4.99 and I really just loved the bottle. That little stamp gold detail made it look way more expensive than $4.99 so I thought this was really pretty and like I said I'll either put a candle on here some room spray I feel like for a bathroom that your guests are going to be using a little room spray is always a nice touch some of you may know that I love collecting white dishes to display and also use when I'm entertaining and things like that so I found these two sets of ramekins they're two different sizes and I was trying to decide between the two but I figured for the large set, this one was $5.99 and the smaller set was only $4.99. I figured why not just get both? I've really been gravitating towards that scalloped edge look and these bowls just were so unique. I love keeping these little prep bowls to serve condiments with. We also have taco night every week and I love keeping plenty of these on hand to use for all of our different toppings. And when I'm not using these as serveware, I love to keep them displayed in my wooden cabinet, on my open shelves, or just in a little grouping on my island. I love pottery pieces, so anywhere where I can display it and see throughout the day versus having it shoved in the back of a cabinet is always preferable. I also found one more vase, and I really liked all of the design on this one. It was $12.99, which I thought was a really great price. I love this mercury glass look, and then it also has this etching around here, which almost looks like a cement type look and feel and it also has that narrow top so you don't need to buy a ton of florals to really fill this thing out and again it's just a perfect accent piece for a shelf I'm thinking maybe putting this one in my bathroom as well to add some greenery to mixing metals and different textures like glass even mercury glass can give your space a very elevated feel and last but definitely not least I feel found the cutest cutting board. Look at how big and substantial this is. It is so thick. Definitely the thickest cutting board that I have and the longest. This guy will be displayed in my kitchen layered with all of my other cutting boards and when I'm not using it for just visual purposes it's also food safe. So this will make an awesome charcuterie board or just serving platter in general and it was $19.99 which is a really great price for something this substantial. It has such a unique shape. I always check out the wood section whether it be the cutting boards, the risers at Home Goods because you can get the most unique cutting boards for such a good price. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are not already. And if you like this type of video and want to see more of them from me here on my channel, then make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.